welcome. Today I'm going to be making a requested recipe which is shrimp fried rice and for this I have my shrimp here that has been peeled and deveined and washed and I'm going to call out a list of ingredients and I'll leave the measurements for them down below. I have here some chopped onions and this is optional. I know some people don't like to use onions in their fried rice and it's up to you if you want to or not. Some green seasoning or banana chopped hot peppers and this is optional if you have pimento you can use that instead I have here some oyster sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil, minced garlic, scallions, fresh ginger, some paprika some white pepper, fish seasoning and we need some salt so let's move on to seasoning our shrimp so I'm gonna start off by adding my salt And you add salt to taste. Now I'm going to add in my white pepper, paprika, fish seasoning, onion, green seasoning, pepper. ginger, scallions, minced garlic, sesame oil, soy sauce, and oyster sauce. Mix everything to combine. Cover this and store it in your refrigerator for a couple of hours or overnight. Okay, next to make the fried rice is I have three cups of parboiled brown rice and I have some broken noodles, no, noodle pieces, charming noodle, lo mein noodles, whatever you like. And this is optional. If you don't want to put it in your fried rice, you don't have to. I just like to put a little bit in my fried rice. You'll need some salt and a pot of boiling water. So what I'm going to do is wash my rice until the water runs clear. Next, I'm going to add my washed rice to my pot of boiling water. Give it a mix because you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pot. And to this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. You can add more, you can add less. It all depends on how much salt you put in your diet. Now I'm just going to leave this to boil for one minute. After it has boiled for that one minute, add in your lo mein noodles or chow mein noodles and give it a mix. And now we're going to let this boil for about 8 to 10 minutes. During the 8 to 10 minutes, you want to come in ever so often and check on your rice grains and take one and put your finger to try to see if it can go through. If it can, it's ready. If it can't, it still needs another minute. Because it the rice, depending on the brand of rice you buy, it could take less time or it could take more time. And you also want to make sure that your lo mein or chow mein noodles are also cooked together with your rice. Okay, so my rice is ready. You see the grains are so small. When you put your finger through it, it just goes through really easily. And it's not soft, it's not a very soft green. It, the green still looks like if it's the, it still needs a lot more cooking. But this is ready. This is ready. I'm going to take it off and strain it. So next you put up a pot to heat up whatever you're going to fry or make your fried rice in. And here I have my rice. So to fry my rice, I have some salt and black pepper. Now salt will go in at the end after we finish cooking to taste. Some sesame oil, a piece of golden ray, and this is optional. Some Chinese seasoning, and this is what Chinese seasoning looks like. You get it from Trinidad and if you live in Florida and you have a food town close by or if you have a food town close by wherever you live usually they have these products 
I have some fried rice seasoning and this is what the fried rice seasoning looks like. Some assorted bell peppers, finely chopped, celery, finely chopped, and carrots, finely chopped. I will leave the list of ingredients down below in the description box for you all with the measurements. I'm going to start off by adding my golden ray to my pot and letting that melt. And if you don't have golden ray, you can just use some vegetable oil. To this, I'm going to add the shrimp that we had marinating. Give this a mix and allow it to start to fry up. Now I have my heat on medium high. Now, everyone knows shrimp doesn't take very long to cook. So, while this is cooking, I'm going to add in my vegetables so everything can cook together. Because if you were to add your vegetables after you cook your shrimp, your shrimp is just going to get very hard and very rubbery. So, carrots. The celery. And your sweet peppers. And you're going to cook this until your shrimp is cooked and your vegetables are tender. When your shrimp and vegetables have cooked, you're going to add in your rice. To the rice, add in your fried rice seasoning and your Chinese seasoning salt together with your sesame oil. I'm just going to add a little bit of soy sauce to give the rice some color. And now you just mix everything in to combine. I'm just going to finish this off with some fresh scallions. Mix that in. And your fried rice, you want to go ahead and taste it for salt. Adjust your salt and then you can go ahead and serve this. So here you have it, my shrimp fried rice. I hope you guys enjoyed today's dish. You can substitute the shrimp for any other type of meat that you like. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all another day with another one of my videos. Enjoy! Enjoy!